couch surfing. It's a great way to meet new people and to get around on a budget. But sometimes the couch surfer stays a little bit longer than expected. Like these bees. Bees have been couch surfing here for over 12 months. It's, it's time for them to go. Now, when you need to get rid of a troublesome couch surfer, you've got a few options. You could ask them to leave. You could poison them. When you couldn't bear any of those options, it's time to call in the authorities to take them away. I was going to ask uh, where the bees will end up. So these ones are going to Lewisham House, which okay. is actually a beautiful garden. Lewisham House, an old historic house in Lewisham that we're going to drive to now. Uh, and the reason for that is they'll eventually end up in Yarramong Valley, if they survive. But they've got more chance of down here because it's winter, because there's much more flowering still here. Um, they've got more chance of making it. Uh, than me taking them up to the land because there's not a lot in flower at the moment in the yeah, bush. Right. So we've left them enough honey in there and enough brood with the hope that they will just get real busy real quick in that garden and then I'll move them up in spring. So it's just giving them a little bit more of a chance but Lewisham House is amazing. It's a beekeeper friend of mine who's got seven hives up there. Tomorrow coming out they'll do an orientation flight and find out where they are, decide if they like Lewisham or if they die hard Dulwich Hill <laughs> bees and then they might fuck off. You'll we'll have your first taste. You want to get sticky? Oh, wow. <laughs> there you go. All right. Here we go. What would you say to people who've found a hive and want to move it? What's the best way to get in contact well, with Well, you address? can contact your local council um, and they can put you in touch with local beekeepers that will come and move your hive for you and um, rehouse them, which is you know far better than ringing a we're going to pest control it. We need bees, you know, we, we're short on bee numbers and um, we're, you know, bees, bees pollinate our food and I think that it's a real, you know, our food supply is completely reliant on that and I think that, um, you know, our bee numbers are short for lots of different reasons and I think that um, it's a growing, you know, interest with back garden beekeepers or backyard beekeepers as they're called and, um, you know, the more the better, you know, we need bees. And honey. And honey, we need bees mm. and honey. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming along You're welcome, along you're today, welcome. Sarah. And I'll let you know how we go. Awesome. <laughs> Remember, being stung by a bee can be potentially life-threatening for those who have anaphylactic shock risk. Make sure you contact someone who knows what they're doing.